Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com as you know that IBPS SO 2020-2021 notification is out and today we are launching the IBPS SO marketing course especially for that marketing post right so you might be aware that uh, you know I teach for SO marketing so what we are going to do in this course that's what I'm going to tell you so team bank exam uh, bank exams today we have already done the recorded session uh, which is covering the uh, static topics and now onwards I'm going to do live sessions. So video classes are there, study material, live sessions, full length test series, right? 10 full length test for the pre-exam and 10 for the mains exam, unit tests are there and special attention to the professional knowledge section from day one. Systematic study plan is there and proper interview preparation guidance is provided. So the important dates you can apply for the exam from today onwards, right? Uh, today onwards you can apply uh, from 2nd of November till 23rd of November. Uh, the pre-exam is going to be held on two dates, 26th and 27th and mains exam is going to be held on uh, 24th of Jan. So you have like four weeks of gap between the pre and the mains exam and now, uh, you know, it's already 2nd and uh, you don't have much time less than two months you have for the pre-exam and then four weeks for the mains exam so around 80 days you have um, for uh, the mains exam so the interviews would be conducted in the month of february and in the month of april there will be final allotment right so the number of vacancies is just 60 uh less as compared to previous years due to covid obviously normally it is around 200 to 300 but this year it is just 60 so what, what is the kind of impact that you can see in the cutoffs? Yes, I know that this is not the best time to tell you the cutoffs. Yes, it's not time, hai. but the uh, cutoff hai, that is around 25 to 30 for pre. For pre-exam, that is 30, 25 to 30. That is going to shoot up. So ye badh aegi, that is going to be around 45 to 50. It can be more than that, right? Not less than that. 45 to 50 out of 125 and for the mains exam th there won't be much impact on the mains exam right because not uh, you know they are going to you know uh, call the uh, they have a formula like 10x or 20x the number of you know posts they are going to call so at the end of the day there won't be much impact on the mains cutoff it will be around 30 to 33 it depends upon the difficulty level of exam but pre ka cutoff, it is around, uh, right, uh, it used to be 25 to 30, but it will be 45, 50, or even 50 plus. If paper is easy, it can go even 50 plus. So this is the scenario, right? Normally, hota kya hai, what we recommend to students from day one, you should start for uh, mains. But now, abhi kya hai, abhi scenario thoda change ho gaya hai because the cutoff of pre-exam is going to go high as well. So the cutoff in the 2020, the minimum score combined, uh, you know, a combined score tha ye from online exam and the interviews out of 100. So these, uh, you know, that's uh, that's going to go high as well. This is maximum, uh, you know, combined score, but pre and mains ka cutoff, it was around 26, uh, 20, uh, 28 and both for the pre and mains, right? So exam pattern, same, uh, no changes, 50, 50, 50 questions. Uh, so 150 questions, uh, English language, half mark is equal, uh, one question is equal to half mark, one one mark for reasoning and quant, 40 minutes each, total uh, 120 minutes are allotted and 125 marks, the cut, uh, you should target at least 60, 60 would be a very comfortable score to get the final selection, 60 would be a very, very comfortable score according to me, it will be a score. Hoga so exam pattern, uh, the professional knowledge, 60 questions, 60 marks. So it depends, uh, obviously you cannot make a target here, obviously you need to give your best, right? So you can't make targets here, obviously you need to make targets in the pre-exam, but in the mains exam, it, it can't go beyond 35, 36, no matter what. So syllabus, uh, for the quantitative aptitude, 50 questions are there, so you should target out of 50 at least 25, right? It, it, it is achievable, right? It is actually achievable. People who are appearing for PO and clerk, they are achieving this. So you can do this as well. So data interpretation, anyways, you are going to find at least 15 to 20 marks of the paper directly from data interpretation, like five marks from number series. This is very normal. Five marks, 15 to 20 marks directly from here, right? 
and then uh, like uh, quite possible that data sufficiency five marks so uh, 25 to 30 marks of the paper will be from here only approximation so approximation approximation wale chapter mein se you can find like five questions which is quite common and then one to two question uh, are common from time and distance time speed and uh, you know uh, work time work uh, time and distance time speed and distance sorry uh, simple and compound interest one two question from each of these topics that's pretty common pattern this is the pattern that you can expect in the exam this is this is the common pattern uh, you know nothing more than that nothing less than that it's sometimes it's there sometimes it's not there sometimes it's there sometimes it's not there so whatever I'm telling you this is the common pattern right so whenever algebra or quadratic equation quadratic equation sometimes it's there and whenever it's there see the punch question hai, this is the pattern for quantitative aptitude keep this in mind and that's what I'm going to teach you I'm I teach quantitative aptitude as well I hope you know that I started my teaching career with quantitative aptitude made easy and a book leaky then I started my career as an online teacher before you know being an online teacher I actually cracked IBPS PO and then I left my job to write a book <laughs> So that was my life goal. Uh, uh, quantitative aptitude made easy. That was bestseller at that time in 2013, 2014. Bahut sale hui thi wo. And then I, I moved to this online teaching platform. So it's working well for me. So reasoning ability, coding, decoding, very important. Whenever it's there, 0 to 5 question, puzzles and sitting arrangements, very important. 3, 4 sets would be there, 15 to 20 marks directly from these two topics, right? Uh, coding decoding silogs inequalities are very very important i don't know why i didn't write in equalities likhna chahiye tha these are very very important topics all the time 0 to 5 questions right machine input output 0 to 5 questions directions and test blood relation problem based on ages uh, rankings 5 questions right and data sufficiency sometimes it's there sometimes it's not there and critical reasoning is like 0 to 5 questions most of the times ye hota hai so you can uh, give or take 5 questions yahan se aa English language so though there are like 50 question one question is equal to half mark but timing is fixed 40 minutes so time management is not an issue because you'll be getting 40 uh, 40 minutes for sure so reading comprehension three reading comprehensions 30 questions so vocabs would be there itself right so sometimes closed uh, you know fill in the blanks are already there so 20 to 30 marks directly from reading comprehension and sometimes 10 marks from closed test and like 10 marks from sentence re improvement and uh, error uh, spotting and sentence completion. So this is the simple pattern, not marks. These are the number of questions for the mains exam. I have already explained the syllabus many times, but you should know that see students, you need to understand this is not your MBA, right? The MBA ka exam nahi hai. you don't uh, need to write essay type question. Beast beast mark ke question nahi aayenge. You need to check that, uh, you know, this is an MCQ paper. This is a totally MCQ multiple choice question paper. So what kind of questions can be there? You need to understand kya aa sakta paper mein. You know, in this whole chapter, what can be there in the exam? So marketing mix here is important. Uh, you need to, uh, you know, uh, you need to choose the topics actually. While doing the chapter, you need to understand ki isme se, uh, you know, uh, aa sakta hai kya? Isme se koi numerical, uh, isme se koi MCQ ban raha hai nahi ban raha, right? That's important. So in this whole uh, holistic marketing, so in this whole, uh, you know, chapter two or three topics are there, which are important. Potter model is very important from this particular topic, Potter model. So you need to understand, if chapter dekhte, you should know ki yaar, what is important here. So marketing research, market segmentation is the most important topic here. So uh, research uh, survey types of surveys, you know, very, very important. These are to important topics. And then uh, marketing planning and strategies, types of marketing plans, very important. Competitive marketing strategies, you know, market leadership strategies, very important. Strategic units are important, right? So uh, price volume control is very important. Competitive strategies. So these are important topics. You basically need to focus on the models, right? From where MCQs can be asked, right? Marketing types very important uh, types of marketing there are various types of marketing right marketing strategies very important product marketing again very important product life cycle is the most important topic in this whole book branding packaging labeling is important product development process is very important product mix bcg matrix is very very important so product portfolio uh, decisions again important right 
product development process product to integrate vertical and horizontal integration is important product testing beta alpha testing it is very important for the exam pricing decisions right uh, again very important prices and its de determinants positioning is not there as of now so it should be there market positioning bahut bahut important hai uh, market positioning is very very important topic till now aaya nahi aana chahiye tha distribution strategies various distribution strategies and factor influencing that retail marketing uh, isme se crm is very very important right uh, and then uh, uh, supply chain management is very very important right promotion mix and strategies various strategies uh, for the promotions right so brand positioning is is part of it uh, uh, and brand positioning is very important here brand management again is very important brand image brand positioning differentiation strategies right brand research uh, uh, again brand positioning <laughs> main yaad kar raha tha so comparative analysis brand equity measurement again very very important consumer behavior types of consumer decisions right very important uh, uh, buyers buying process factors influencing buyer buying uh, decisions right so basically what i am focusing stages of buy buying process what i am focusing on the topics from which you know questions can be asked how oh, this particular digital marketing is very important smo as seo smm types of marketing dig types of digital marketing mail uh, email marketing is there drip marketing various terms i have already done a class on this particular topic 29 types of marketing uh, terms i have done that in the digital marketing advanced marketing techniques value chain is very important strategic marketing process is important inbound this is this what is already i have done in the uh, marketing techniques i have already told you uh, corporate social responsibility is important so social responsibility again marketing ethics consumer protection in india and these theories every year there is question from these theories and types of marketing is again very very important right so again this year uh, there is something uh, different marketing awareness popular brand their uh, popular uh, and their ambassadors brand ambassadors uh, popular acquisitions companies and their ceos uh, you know brand ambassadors of their brands popular brand campaigns latest products financial awareness students it is very important for all the specialist officer exams anyway so uh, basics of financial awareness you should do uh, the indian financial uh, system banking reforms regulatory bodies in india international banking rbi circulars financial terms ab latest updates in financial and capital markets banking terms latest acts related to banking priority sector lending nps or fasi act capital market money market uh, commercial banks uh, uh, latest guidelines for commercial banks nbfc hfcs merger and acquisitions mergers and acquisitions credit rating and payment options so basics of financial awareness we are not going in depth right so how you can do this all these topics i'm going to cover in my course i'm going to provide the video classes notes test series live sessions unit tests would be there and special attention to professional knowledge section from day one systematic plan is there and interview preparation guidance would be provided and these are the students who cracked the exam in 2019 2020 all these students that took our courses and they cracked their respective exams i'm really really happy for them for all of them actually all of them they took our course that they took my course and they cracked their respective exams 119 selection i'm not going to achieve this goal you know i'm i'm going to underperform because itself 60 vacancies are there so obviously i'm really anyways uh, so 119 selections i got last year uh, and then bank of india credit officer 2018 uh, rrb scale 2 scale 3 bank of maharashtra bank of uh, baroda wealth management vijaya bank all these students that took our courses and they cracked their respective exams i'm really really happy for them and now it's your turn and we are we have already started the classes today right and uh, tomorrow onwards we are going to provide really amazing study material on bankexamstudy.com if you want to take a demo you can watch my previous sessions on this channel please please give it a look and if there is any doubt in your mind uh, regarding you know the course or your eligibility i have already done a class on that as well in the morning this is my whatsapp number please ask your doubts so that's all for today students subscribe to my channel and subscribe for my course and like this video That's all for today students thank you and have a very very nice day bye bye